And the next quest was... I need to kill... Murfail? Hmm. This doesn't want me to go in there. That's interesting. Huh. As I remember, this is just a straight walk. This level, so... Of course, those guys are resistant to lightning. Of course they are. Shock you! Since you're resistant to lightning. <laughs> that makes sense. You know what, I'm gonna ignore them. Yeah, I don't really care about these guys, most of them at least. So... Ah, yeah, they make me move slower and everything. I don't care for this area much. go, have some shock slam, some lightning. What I can do is get a bunch of guys together and then, well, this thing stops at the first foe it hits though. Hmm. So I guess, I mean ground slam is useful for, because it hits everything, not just the first guys in the row, right? So Ground Slam is really more of an AoE ability than this skill. So that's interesting. So after all, I guess Lightning Strikes is like most mostly just a single target ability that has some AoE applications. That's what it really comes down to then. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way here. I like how that skeleton shows up at the, on the map and you think like, oh there's some gold there, that must be important. Or like super treasure there. But no. Oh hello. Becomes frenzied when nearby kin are slain. Okay, I guess that green stuff is frenzied. Not really doing that much more damage to me though. I guess I'm alright for the time being. What's this? 108 life over 6.5 seconds. Okay. That's the worst one, so I'm not equipping it. Worse than the ones I already have, that is. Special here. You just scold attacks quickly, gains frenzy, allies on death, on death, spread star on death, and all allies move and attack faster. Alright. There's no point in killing it last or something because he gives frenzy when he dies, because while he lives, enemies move and attack faster, so. Either way. <laughs> Alright, hello you guys. I want to pick up the scroll of wisdom, but these guys I don't really want to bother with with their lightning resist. Alright, end of this area. Moving on to the Cavern of Wrath. Hmm. Sounds, um, pleasant. Talk to Nessa. Return to town. Okay. Oh, there was a waypoint there. I saw it on the map. Yep. Alright. That was dumb. Nessa? If you must take your chances with the siren, then have this. It may be of some help. But please... Know that you don't have to do this. 
Tarkley and I are getting used to having you around. Huh. Oh, nice. I get a support gem. Alright, so these are the supportive of your uh, abilities. So basically you put them in like like right here. These two are linked together. So if I add this additional accuracy gem into the green slot here, it'll give me an additional accuracy on my infernal blow. So 20% um, of your physical damage added as fire damage is pretty good. Six life gained for each enemy hit by your attacks. That's pretty good. I want. I think I'm gonna get that because that works best with my lightning strike. Um, on the other hand, lightning strike is in here. Hmm. So maybe. No. Guess it's better to just additional. That's 82 to accuracy rating is actually pretty good for now at least. But once I get the passive that accuracy doesn't help me. Then it's no good. Hmm. By then I could have like found many more. I'm just gonna go for this. I think the additional accuracy would be better for now though. But I'm not getting that because it's not gonna be useful later on anymore. Oh, um, let me see. I do have... Okay, here we go. There. Um, what do I want? Frontal blow, I guess. Alright, so this is like, now I got with my life lightning strike, as you can see there's a little icon here that tells me it's got a support gem on it, and I gain 6 life for each enemy hit, and I would hope that that works with the lightning as well, so that would make it pretty good in com combination with that skill. That's the idea at least, and let's continue on. So, free gem without even having to do anything, except find a new area. But I guess there's going to be a boss battle pretty soon. And like I said, we're nearing the end of the act. As you could see from the... Um, the ancestors watch over you. From this. See, there's like a line right there. So we'll, this is the last little part there. So that's why we get the support jam here. Um, let's get diamond skin. I want that. 15 to all resistances? Heck yeah. Is that also... Is it only elemental resistances? Or... Let me actually check that. To all elemental resistances. So does that not give me like chaos resist? Yep. That's true. Okay. Good to know. It only gives me lightning, fire and cold. And is there like a poison in this? No. Chaos is poison, right? All poison abilities, as I recall, do chaos damage. So, talk about resisting chaos. This guy does it. And stay dead. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. There's a boulder there. Mm -hmm. Am I? Am I missing anything? Nope, I'm not. I'm going the right way in. But here's where it splits off. Hmm. Just as I'm about to say, there's only. Oh, well. This doesn't go anywhere. For some reason, these guys are hard to hit on this bridge with the AoE. Well. <laughs> Strange place to be. Uh, Storing barrels. We'll just pick away and go it. Pick away and go it. Pick a path, I mean. Alright. Kinda looks like a hammer there. Ooh, orb of chance. That's worth uh, two and a half chromatic orbs. <laughs> Not that I can really foresee much trading with other people. 
the way I play these games, I usually shy away from that as I kind of want to focus my attention on... Woo! Large life flask. Focus my attention on... Woo! Large life flask. Um, <laughs> on just playing the game rather than uh, sitting in trade channels and all that. Never really been the guy for that. I definitely want to use that. Um, oh, I should have... I guess I should have really thought about... Because it starts with nothing, so now if I have to... Yeah. Both of these are better, I would say. So... Uh-huh. There you go. See, now I have two empty ones instead of just one. I thought about it more before switching. That would not have been the case. Oh well. Hey, there's another large chest here. Nice. Man. It must be like a Marauder just being pretty powerful class. At least at the start of the game. Because I'm not even taking any damage here. It seems... I just pick, picked like the most overpowered class or something, I don't know. Although I can see... 15% hmm, increased rarity, this is 13%. I definitely don't want to take this one off though, because this guy is great. Increased lightning damage even, ha! Huh. Nice. Um. I cannot carry this. Um, um, of course. All right. Nice. Let's, um, town portal here. Why not? Oh, 34 to strength. Nice. That is worth identifying, though. I missed that one. Even more strength, huh? Um, I think they may even give me more life. 361. That's where it's less, but my damage should go up, right? Yeah, okay, that's worth it. Hello? Hmm, flash charges. Um, um, it's not that much more damage, but a lot more strength, though. Strange. Strange how it doesn't really add that much more damage then. It's that much strength more. Huh. That is weird. Well, strength gives me life and melee physical. Uh, I'm gonna keep this one because I, I imagine the stronger I get, the better it is to have more strength. Since it's a percentage. <coughs> and the reason I'm not storing any more of these life flasks and everything is just... I need some... A few just to uh, be able to get started with a new character. But I don't really need to store all of the crap, you know. I just want to have a little bit of it ready. For new characters, that's all. My shield, shield looks kind of weird. Uh, I guess it was the shadow then. Now, now it doesn't look weird anymore. Yeah, that's the shadow. Making it look all red. Instead of red and white. I was almost gonna say mono red. <laughs> there goes the magic nerd in me. Uh, Looks like I stepped on him. Actually, I think these like non-enchanted flasks aren't even worth picking up because uh, they don't give you anything at the vendor other than like another scrap of wisdom. There's a special over there. I I reckon.
Alright. Father of Murveil. We're both using the same ability. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. Stuff. Probably not even worth checking out right now. Chance that it's better than my norm. The weapon I'm using is pretty low, so. Okay, yeah. I. Hmm. I'm not really. Especially with one handed. I guess I definitely need more mana with one handed then. Look at this, I'm running out of mana. These guys just don't die fast enough. That's the problem. Suddenly, they have more health. This is a pretty slow way of killing anything. Um, yeah, I gotta switch in like an extra mana flask. That's just the way it's gotta be. Because I got too many life flasks and too few mana flasks right now. Um, I'll go do that immediately. Let's go buy one. Or, or wait a second, there's, there's one over here. This is good. Okay, we'll stash this one. That'll be it. That's good. Okay. Hello. Taking care of problems as the need arises. Let's continue on. I'm uh, now storing up on. I, I was down to free wisdom scrolls, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I'm now at 11. Oh, that's a dead witch. Oh, I get it. Those are characters. Those are like, you know. Other marauders and those big yellow corpses must be other marauders or something. Huh. My mana is gone. Yeah, those are definitely dead witches. Interesting stuff. Skill gem, but not not one I can really use. That's definitely a good thing I picked up another mana flask, because I'm gonna need it. I guess part of the problem is that these lightning strikes don't hit everyone if they're like... If the corridors are this narrow. Unwavering spectral... spectral... spectral bowman. Jeez. <laughs> How hard can that be to say? Pretty difficult, apparently. Ashen Buccaneer, that's a way better name. Um, am I going the right way? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, I think I know where to go, though. Let's kill you. Totally just ignoring those guys. This must be the right way to go. Seems to be it. Yeah. Oh, there's a different. There's another level. Huh. Cavern of Anger. What was that? 